Vidit won against Hikaru Nakamura, a very eventful game. Uh, please take us through the key moments. It felt like uh, maybe C5 was one of the start of your problems. Before that, it seems like you equalized from the opening. Well, I mean, okay, obviously I tried something adventurous to begin with with this whole G5. I mean, mm -hmm. this is, I mean, somewhat known, but I mean, I think the big problem is that I just, I didn't pick a plan quickly. I think Once knight we... H5, I did not like so much. Maybe you can do something else. Well, there. I mean, I looked at a position with queen c1, b6, and then you played queen c2. I, I think. I mean, maybe I have the wrong position, but but basically I looked at it as something similar. Like, this is the first spot where I spent 20 minutes rather than just playing b6 in, in two minutes, which was a huge mistake to begin with uh, from a time standpoint, because later on, I mean, time is what caused a lot of my issues because uh, I started making bad moves at some point. Um, I thought yeah, you like, could do g4 here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the problem is also in my mind. I knight, mean, knight takes, yeah. Yeah, knight takes and now knight e three, and I no, then uh, takes and bishop a two. But what? Sorry, bishop a two and d five. Um, right here. Somehow I was scared. Um, I was somehow I was scared. Like, let's just say you go rook a one. F five. Yeah. Ah, because now the bishop's hanging. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, ah, I have f five right here. And by bishop's hand, what do you mean? Mm, no, because now if knight, knight h4, I can take. I mean, okay. that's the point. The, the bishop yeah, is the hanging bishop on d2. Yeah, the bishop on d2 is hanging, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, the point is, again, I spent like 30 minutes here, and I should have made a move in like 10 minutes probably. I mean, this was just so insane to use so much time, and then... then um, knight g4, I would have played rook yeah. d1. I mean, actually. I I didn't, I didn't, somehow I didn't like this. Rook d1. Yeah, just... rook d1, yeah, and then... D5, knight e3, and same position, but my rook is better placed. Yeah, I mean, basically, it's whether this is a real attack or it's not an attack on the king's side. And I couldn't couldn't decide whether it's an attack or or I'm just worse, basically. I mean, queen c8 was also in move, by the way. Um, here, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I considered queen c8 also, but I just I couldn't figure out what to do, basically. Like, d5 um, was an annoying threat here, no? Yeah, but I thought b4. Um, can I take and play d5? Uh, D5 here, I didn't didn't like this for some reason. Um, or maybe I'm just missing things again. I, th I thought knight E3 here, actually. Um, I have takes on E4. Yeah, takes. Knight D4. Yeah, and now takes, ED. takes, knight of 5 I, I think was knight of 5 or bishop E6 first. Maybe, maybe actually, maybe take first on E6, this one. Okay, queen E6. And now, oh wait, no, but here the pawn's hanging. No, no, yeah, maybe I'm just missing everything now. But knight of 5 D3. D3, and something like... It Queen looks somewhere. really awkward, no? So ah, we said bishop from, from play? Yeah, I thought Queen's hit was uh, one of the options, and G4. Uh, knight H5 was a uh, surprise for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, basically I spent 30 minutes looking at different moves, and then I, I think I picked the worst one. Um, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily bad, but to spend 30 minutes when I'm up half an hour on the clock here is like just insane, uh, with no increment. I mean. Because I think the moves become much easier for white at this point. That's the problem. I mean, I, I think I'm still probably okay around here, but but it's already getting hard to play. Um, but if not c5, I don't know what. Yeah, no, I mean, that's why I don't understand the. Yeah, the c5 is not a good move. I mean, maybe, it seems maybe, like the only move. Maybe there is f5. Yeah, just basically from an engine mm. perspective, like uh, until this moment, it seemed like. Well, well, I mean, all, ice, also here, C5, you know, somehow. But also here, I should have played knight f4 probably first. Yeah. Um, but also, I wasn't sure if I should be desperate or not because I can also give the pawn an a5 and take with the pawn. But I mean, it's it's hard to know. Am I worse? Am I fine? I mean, should I, which way should I go? What's the point yeah. of early knight f4? Well, which you play queen d1, I assume. But now I now I'm wondering if I can take this way. Um, something like I don't know c4, knight d3, something strange. I mean, this is probably too much. Like I'm probably just miscalculating everything here, but. I just, I wasn't sure, because I mean, I saw b4 coming from a distance, and yeah, somewhere around here, I mean, I just started using all my time. Maybe you can take and rook c8, it's still possible. Um, but this one just feels ugly somehow to me. Um, takes. Queen e7. Yeah, rook b3. Can you take on e5? No, knight d5, yeah, again. Uh, knight d5, or maybe knight g4 also. Yeah. I mean, this one feels unpleasant somehow. I mean, here only white can be better. I just I assumed I had some counterplay with it within this line, and then I just I mean I just just blundered basically. Um, I mean, probably I should have probably I should have tried this one maybe. I mean, there really are two options. Number one, what I did in the game, except with rook d8, this is option one, or to go or to go knight g6. That's knight option g6, two. I can play bishop c3. Yeah, and I thought here maybe I have some bishop f8. I didn't see it, but if I felt like there should be something. Rook b3 like, or knight g4, I don't know. I mean, I assume knight g4 probably. 
Yeah. Like rook e6, rook b3. Nice. This can't be good, no? I don't, I mean, I, I still am kind of wondering if there's some sack, something. I mean, if, I feel like there should be something here, but of course, if there is something, I'm fine, and if there's nothing, I just lose the game immediately. I mean, that's why I played this, but then I just blundered, of course, knight takes e5, which is just, I mean, absurd. Um, I mean, I should probably play rook d8. Uh, C or e, actually. Yeah, I was thinking about this knight g4. Yeah, knight I g4. I go is. here and knight g4, yeah, and like d4, bishop d2, knight g6, something like this. Yeah, probably a5, right? I assume, um, or I'm not sure. Should I play knight f6 and a5, or ah, like this knight f? No, but this one, yeah, as we, oops, as, as we discussed um, during the game, there's queen d6, though, right? Yeah, and I have rook a1. Ah, and just play this and one just a5, a5 a6. a6. Okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe slightly better, but I don't know. It's hard to believe with this d pawn. I mean, of course, yeah. White, white's much easier to play for white, obviously. Probably balanced, but yeah, I, I think white's white's. I mean, e much easier to play for white. That's for sure. Much much easier to play. Yeah, but then I just blundered, of course, with knight e five. Um, I mean, it's just kind of inexplicable. I just just completely overlooked this knight d five because I mean, I was looking at all these lines with um, like I was just making sure there weren't tricks like knight g four. But it, I think it's always holding here with like queen d six. I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I spent too much time, and then, yeah, it just all falls apart, kind of. Yeah, after, I mean, probably here, uh, the computer probably gives some, some better defense than what I did, but but actually, I mean, I, I, I got a little, little bit lucky here, because once we get to this position, I mean, I think rook h6 is a huge mistake. Um, I had a feeling here that knight g4 was simply winning the game on the spot. Yeah, um, probably it's easier. Um... Yeah, because after this, I had a feeling there was something, but of course, queen b2, I just, I mean, I saw every move except queen d7, basically. Um, queen g4 was also winning, right? No, queen g4, I have knight g6, and now it's very unclear again. Now it's very unclear. Really? Yeah, I just missed queen d7, and, this, and you spotted it, of course. Mm. Yeah, because now it gets very tricky again. Yeah, I mean, now it's Knight g6? What, what, knight g6? Ah. Uh, no, uh, yeah, king h2. Actually, but even this is not so simple. Actually, maybe even this. Oh. But probably I can... G g3. No, but g3, queen b7. Ah, knight e7, and the rook... Ah, 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 the, the rook hangs on c8. Ah, maybe even this is just winning. Okay, maybe, maybe it's... Wait, so... Queen g4... Yeah, but I mean, there, yeah, there's no, no need, because yeah. I mean, you found yeah. queen d7, which wins, but... Yeah, this yeah, rook c5, c5 move is the big I, question mark. And now I, I I don't know how white's supposed to win here. So the threat is rook d5, right? Yeah, I assume the immediate um, threat is rook d5. Yeah, that's actually the only threat. But what does white do? Can I play but queen g4? In the game. I, I did, but I missed I missed rook okay. d5. I yeah. missed. I just thought he could go back. I just missed that I had knight d okay. or uh, this rook d5, mm -hmm. and now black's. What, probably winning here or something? I mean, maybe no. not winning, but... Queen g4? King g7, just one move, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, but I mean, how are you stopping... No, no, queen a1, <laughs> black's probably winning. Yeah, but yeah. that's why knight f3 I would not play, I think. Knight f3. Yeah, I mean, queen d4, that we were discussing, queen d4, of course, yeah. after the game, yeah. this queen d5 line. But this, I mean, it's very hard to judge what's going on, because now this rook on h6 is out of play. I mean, e either black's completely fine or white's completely winning, and we're just, we're, we're, we're not computers, but... Um, I didn't didn't see the the move here. I mean, what do you? There's rook h8. Yeah, or, rook h8. Yeah. Or nothing, basically. I mean. Yeah, I go rook h8. Yeah, rook h8 only, only only move. King h8. Rook knight h8, f3. King h8. Knight f3. Takes takes. King g7. Uh, actually, no. Probably I go to h7. King h7 takes. Um. Probably rook c4. Knight f3. Uh, f6 and. Yeah, this probably should be a draw. I'm not convinced about this position. So you believe still chances for white, right? Yeah, well, I mean, of course, white is a pawn, but yeah, how but do you... I mean, a5. No draw. Yeah, so a5, rook a4. I mean, unless you can push the pawn to a7, I mean, that's still... But, I mean, maybe that's the question. Rook a8, rook a8. check. Check. Rook a2. Knight no, d4. I no, because push to a7. No, I have to go king g3. Or something. Yeah, then knight h5. King g4, king g6. 
Yeah, this Rook is six. Rook four chop. Oh, Rook okay. four. Yeah. No, this is actually. I mean, I think this is probably probably an easy draw. Actually, now that I think the more I think about the position. Like, Can I play something apart from queen d4? Yeah, well, that's the question. Is there another move here? King h2, queen f2, yeah. Queen h2, queen f2, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like, what, maybe g3, maybe? Yeah. Uh, maybe g, maybe, maybe g3. this, maybe this is the move, yeah. Maybe we're Yeah, we're just, just get rid of this knight, yeah. It's still rook d5. Queen g4. Yeah, knight g6. Still not simple. No, but this should be lost. Um, I at least have rook g6, queen g5 in the worst case. No, but then, ah, I, rook then I have rook e5. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So knight g6 again, probably have to go. Yeah, but now. King g2. This. King g7. Queen h5. But there's no actual mate now, so now I think I. Yeah, now I mean I think yeah, now it's insane. Yeah. Ah, no, you queen f three though. Ah, you queen f three. No, king g six. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's okay. F yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, probably got a bit carried away there. Uh, rook d five. Some crazy lines. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean basically these were the two moves, and I pl I mean I just I miss queen d seven, which of course just wins on the spot. But yeah, I mean. But what yeah. happens if it's just queen g four here? So some simple. Move. No, 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 but now I take because I have check on a one. This is why there's this check. Ah, that's that's why. That's, that's, okay, that's, that's why. That's why. That's why white doesn't. I mean, it's okay, probably g okay. three looks good. I think. I mean, g three looks like the correct move. G three yeah. looks. It looks correct, but yeah. still rook d five and I, I, queen f three just. Okay, this makes sense. Yeah, this makes makes a lot more sense. Um. Yeah, because now there's no knight g six. Yeah, of course. And if I play, what else do I have? Rookie five. Rookie five. Rookie. F no queen eight. You have no, to I was go thinking queen like five. Queen. Yeah, you have uh, to. Well, go the double f pawns. I mean, okay, maybe it's a draw. But no, a five, a six. I'll push him. Yeah, yeah, it's hard, hard to believe. No, but after g three. That's a g three. I mean, like. Yeah, so rook d five is only move, right? Looks like only move. Yeah, I mean. No, king g7 is not a move. So only move, rook d5, queen f3. And queen d2. Yeah, queen d2, probably. No, but now, I don't know, queen e4, f5 still. Yeah, this is still not simple for no, white. Queen e4, what was wrong? Queen e4, I have f5, right? Rook h8, knight taps. Rook h8, you want king g7. <laughs> No, but even this, because h3 is hanging, this is hanging here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, this, this rook c5 is probably... No, actually, it looks really double-aged. Not just uh, that black is escaping, but also double-aged somehow. There is a lot of ways how white can go wrong. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I, I feel... I mean, I think we probably would have gotten to this position. I mean, this yeah. makes, mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense, but now white has to be very careful, too. Not careful, sorry. What white, White's never worse, but, I mean, how, how does white press, press for more? Yeah. Maybe instead of rook d6, rook at 6 just knight f3. Yeah, so I mean, but, but even knight g4, I thought it was g4, Yeah, like I had a feeling this was wrong, and then I, did, I just played queen b2. I missed queen d7. Or else I would have played rook c5. I mean, these were the only two moves that I saw in the position. But I missed, I missed of course, this, uh, as I oh, said, yeah. I, I missed this, this rook d5 idea completely. I just missed this move. Um, yeah, I mean, probably, yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't know what the engine says, but I think, I mean, most likely. Yeah, yeah g3 queen probably it'll say is the best move. Yeah, g3, rook d5, and queen f3. Yeah. But how? But how? Yeah, queen f3, and then what was it? it was rook queen d2. Rook e3, just. Rook e3. Yeah, actually. Well, I mean, this is why. Yeah, it's funny. We, we don't analyze with the engine, so we don't know. Like, we spent all this time, we're probably completely insane. Probably probably okay. it's just winning for white. Yeah, but it's much more interesting to see how you're an analyzing without the engine, because then the engine just gives you an easy, an easy answer. And here we have yeah, your I mean, genuine I, I thoughts. Think, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think this is probably winning for white, yep. just to mm -hmm. guess. Should be, should be. But I mean, of course, who, yeah, just check. Queen d2, rook e3, there's no check, right? Queen d1, you just trade. Ah, but wait, is there check? And some weird knight d5, knight c3 or something? I have rook d3, you know, in the worst case. Ah, rook d3, yeah, yeah. Yeah, at least it is, yeah. But even the, even the I don't know. There's just knight b two, of course. No, it's complete nonsense. Yeah, yeah. no. I mean the, the whole thing. Basically, I mean I just it was kind of a carbon 
copy of my of my game yesterday, except with it reversed, where I was com relatively, I felt like I was okay, and then I sort of lost the balance, and I made like one one bad move, and then suddenly time pressure is creeping up on me, and I couldn't couldn't find couldn't find the right moves. But that's that's how it goes sometimes. I'm just actually wondering before all these sharp lines started, just coming back to this position, so. So you actually, uh, from what I, I understood, you assessed it as um, still black is, has not equalized, you know, so that if not I mean, C5, then what to do, right? It's it's very hard to judge what's going on. I mean, honestly, it's Instead extremely of hard. H5, black should be fine, but after 9th5, maybe white is slightly better, mm -hmm. is what I would thought. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean... Um, but but also I mean I was obviously this is what I wanted today. I mean I could have played something much quieter, and I, I tried to play this G five stuff, which is double edged. I mean in nature anyway. So I mean it's it's what I wanted. So it's kind of hard to be like be unhappy about it because this is what I was aiming for with the opening choice um, when, when I went into this. So yeah, I mean I, I have a feeling. I mean uh, I, I think I mean obviously I didn't find the right moves, but I think my time usage was just absolutely horrible, and that was a huge reason that I couldn't find. Decent ideas, uh, especially around like move 24, 25. I mean, just a waste of time at the wrong moments. And yeah, and, I mean, he played better than I did in the critical moments. That's just how it goes. Well, in a way, I think you were destined for a decisive result because both of you are playing very interesting chess in this tournament. Um, so thank you for that. And please continue <laughs> doing the same. Uh, do we have any questions from the journalists here in uh, our press center? No questions today? Well, right then. We thank you, and uh, and we we'll see you next time. Thank you.